cab is about to finally go down. Got the fenders done. Oh, kind of done. Now, this is a tester job. Is these cylinder heads were already surfaced. They were a little skinny. Let's say you got a studded truck with blown head gaskets. This slight chance it could be done for $10,000 could possibly get it done if you don't have to buy studs. Yeah, we kind of just threw this together. This is our truck, we own it. A lot of the parts were put right back on. We'll see, good, bad, or ugly. I've got quite a few things I'm gonna tell you in the future about what I did with this. Let's just drive it first and see what happened. Let's get some fire in her. Let's get her, get her breathing. Well, we'll solve the mystery soon of why this thing won't roll. Yeah, it's not driving the freaking Carolinas right now. I mean, it's kind of, been, it's been 10 years since this is a daily driver. <laughs> yeah. It's a lip right there, so then the door will open. Definitely have a front brake locked up. We're gonna zip tie chain through there and pick this up higher than this. Get the job all done. Then there are no lines hooked to the ABS, so it does not leak at all if there's no lines hooked to it. But if your fluid looks that nasty, it requires a brake fluid flush. We need to put some brakes in this thing. It barely rolls. I mean, it sucks traveling across the country when your truck doesn't roll very good. That's just killing mileage, killing brakes, just tearing stuff up, just filling it up. All right. Okay, so at this point, we have made no provisions for any kind of brakes, nothing. We have screwed those two connections together. Be careful, you strip that freaking ABS block out. You have to program to replace that. Okay, so it's all the way full, pretty much up in the air that it was introduced into there. It's pretty freaking easy. Look, you put your hand on it. Look. See it? See the bubbles coming out? I'm just taking my hand and I'm pushing it on there and I'm just manually pushing air through it and I'm forcing fluid to go out. Julie's waiting right here to get all the bubbles out, just like that. Simple, by hand, just do it, boom, 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 until there are no more bubbles and it's straight fluid, that done. And there we go. We got some crap batteries, whatever junk we found. I still haven't bought batteries for this because, I mean, it hasn't ran yet. Once you buy a set of batteries, the clock starts ticking and they're gonna last about four years. I'm gonna get every day I can out of it. Turn it on some, we'll throw some new batteries in it. No computer, no battery charger. Let's see what happens. There's nothing new here, this is all old. Fuel's already been primed. Caddy power. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Wishful thinking. All right, let's try it again. Oh. Those batteries are jump. Let's put a jump box on it. All right. Charger on one side, jump box on the other. Here we go. There is not enough power, but it's moving, so I'm gonna let it try to pump a little oil. We leave the key on, which I did not do. You can tell when the glow plugs kick off. I'm gonna wait for that to bump back up over 12 volts, and I'm, I'm not gonna hit the starter until that does that. That way I know the glow plugs aren't robbing power. I'm gonna take all the power to get this starter running. I don't wanna get any oil flowing through it. Come on, come on. There we go, just did it, see that? Glow plug, well. There you go, glow plugs kicked off. Should be a little higher than 12 though. The longer we wait, the better it is. Listen to that unevenness. Watch with the low pressure oil. It's cranking, oh shit. Oh, we got low pressure. Ha <laughs> There it goes. You hear it? It just evened out. Yes. Okay, good. That is a fresh set of lifters too, and they've been sitting there for a good long minute in the truck without having any oil pumped up. I went ahead and hooked up the computer. It's showing 126 pounds right now on ICP. Leave the key on, it'll hold it. Watch that 126. Boom, we're firing right there. Now it drops back down. Yeah, I kind of hurt it a little bit doing that, but it built pressure all the way up. We got 36 pounds in there right now. 40. Oh. <laughs> We're back up to 12 volts. I went ahead and left the key on. So we are sitting at 82 pounds ICP. And here we go.
Oh. Oh, that's pretty sad to... I didn't want to let it start that freaking low. Let's see where it relaxes down to. Oh, it's going way down. Oh, crap. Kind of a drag. I don't know why it freaking dropped all the way down like that. All right, well, let's see what it does. Stay up there. No, it's staying up, okay. I'm just gonna have to give it some time. Both those chargers are on. I forced it. You're gonna run, dude. Okay. Well, little puff of smoke back there, but. Let it run for a minute. Little cloudy over here. Yeah, a little bit. It's quiet. Twelve eight now, twelve nine. Let's shut off the chargers. We're good. Fenders are done. As of right now, the truck's running. I see a little smoke coming out of there. Little haze. Shop's a little hazy. Sounds like maybe those injectors might have made the transplant. That is a good freaking day right there. Love it. Say bye-bye. All right, when you get a stud job done, that little section right there should not be cut to put the cap bolts in right there. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what they got. That's what we got. Damn it. All right, she's running. About to open the door and how you like that? Uh, just for now. Interiors all together. Everything's ready. Julie's gonna throw some air in the very, very sketchy front tires. Dry rotted as son of a gun. Got a logo to put on. Got to decide if I want to put it on this grill or not. Julie used steel wool on the windshield. You can really see the difference. This is the very first drive of this truck. Oh, look at the nasty steering wheels. Horribly disgusting. It's pretty snowy here. Very snowy, I actually just got stuck. Fenders. Okay, we'll make it out of here. Okay, we didn't. Let's go a little back and a little forward. Oh, oh let's see if four wheel drive even works. We got out of there. Holy freaking crap. Let's see what kind of boost we get. There, I'm on the floor. Smoke. Oh my God, a freaking turkey. You ready? Brakes are locked. Oh, it's still rolling, whatever. All right, here we go. On the floor. Oh, it's burning the tires off. Oh, okay, there's snow on the road. I was on the floor for a minute though. busting them loose three miles on it just trying to prime up the oil get it so it'll fire up quick i mean we got sketchy batteries now so it needs to fire up get the oil pressure all built i can feel the brakes the front brakes are locking up oil -wheel drive isn't working figure that out i mean the front wheel's locked up you're not going to get nowhere in snow i'm hoping that i can actually get it back into the shop it's pretty snowy around there on the floor there you go just hit the gear there you go, good shift. Oh, too slippery. 
that's good. At least it's running. We'll go back and do a quick hillbilly head gas test on these sketchy surfaces. Because it's all the way full. I mean, we did it like there's no room for expansion. So any pressure, it'd be very, very easy to blow coolant out of there. I mean, I didn't really run it that hard, though. The road's too shitty. Before we go doing all the brakes, I want to make sure that the engine is okay. It's kind of a bonus that the brakes locked up, actually, because that's making the engine work harder than it normally would. So that's kind of what I want right now. No use in doing brakes if we got to take the cab back off and cut a bunch of the surfaces. It's on the floor. It is dragging bad. Look, I don't even have to touch the brake and I'm slowing down right now. Well, okay. That brake's locked up. Get it! Get it! Ugh. Uh, that'll let us get through there. He doesn't push snow for a living, he just has to plow for himself. That is the truck that the Ford Lifter dropped in 15 minutes up there. There's a card up there for that. That is the engine. Got it in the bay. We kind of missed a lot of it. It was uh, ceremonial. Let's see if these batteries work. Oh, 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 see, these batteries were shot, but it did fire. So at least we have that going. So now we're gonna pull it further in. We're gonna pull the brakes off because that brake over there is locked right now. And I put a bolt in it to block it and it helped. It, it worked. All right. I freaking love it. That's nice. Okay, I was just kind of running it, getting it unstuck because it was pushing against the brake locked up. It was a fairly good work on it. Right now, I mean, happy. Let's fix the brakes. Yeah.